So now we start with since we now have a fair idea of what the various types of equations and of course we'll consolidate that further when we go into the final details of each of the above topics. Let's start with simple equations because we always start with the simplest thing and then we build up on that. So let's start with simple equations. Okay. Now, how to solve a simple equation? This is something we all have been familiarized with right from class 8, 9, 10. We normally use a process of what you mean by transposing. So transposing means you take all the variables to one side and all the constants to the other side. So for example, you have 2x since it is plus x over here, which is separating x to this. So we do the reverse of plus, the opposite of plus is minus. So when you take it to the left hand side, it becomes 2x minus x equal to maintains. 10 remains as it is. We need to collect this constant to this side. So when you take it to this side, this has been separated from this using a plus. So you do just the reverse of it, that is minus. So you get 2x minus x is equal to 10 minus 5. So you have x is equal to 5. Let's take another example. Suppose you have 3x by 2 is equal to say 7.5. Now you need to separate this x. Now how do you separate? You need to separate x from 2. You need to separate x from 3. Now x is connected to 2 using division. So what we can do is to separate x and 2 which are connected by division we do the opposite of that on the other side that is we multiply that side by 2 taking it we call it cross multiplication or to separate it we do the reverse. Now to separate this 3 from this this is being multiplied so we divide both sides by 3 so we get 7.5 into 2 upon 3 which is 15 upon 3 which is 5. So we say that the solution to this equation is 5 or we also say that the root of this particular equation is 5 as well as this. Then this is 5. Right. So this is a simple how to solve a simple equation. So we are taking x or y which is a variable to one side of the equation or at one end collect and collect the constants which are pure numbers which don't have any variables associated with them. They take it to the other side of the equation right 